Lopez in the attack. He's been expensive in the series. Can he make amends? Doesn't make amends. First ball down the leg side. Easy pickings. Really uh, concedes a boundary in the first ball. He bowls. Good afternoon, Pervez Mahroof. Good afternoon to you, Arthur. Good afternoon to all our viewers. Down the leg side, the first ball by Fizz. Usal Mend is very, very strong from his hip level. That occasion, something close to his knee level. Helping on its way. Exactly what Sri Lanka needed to start a new over, especially the last over, the power play. Try and maximize as much as possible. Yeah, more than 100 wickets. Got tons of experience. Nicely done. You know, the fielder, Mohamed Mahamadula, is at the third. And he's quite fine because of that uppercut. That shot, uh, attempted shot uh, from the batter. Because the fielder was uh, fine, he could have uh, gone and close to the ball and uh, cuts it off. There's a talk about uh, Mustafizur Rahman in uh, the last two matches in the same series. Identical numbers in terms of runs conceded. 42. Didn't pick up a wicket in the first T20 International. Did pick up a wicket, but again, 42 and 4 was expensive. Too expensive. We've already shown uh, you what he has done in this format. 106 wickets. We expect uh, a lot better. We expect him to lead the attack. But maybe that's the plan that from uh, the batters to take on Mustafizur Rahman early on and just uh, put a little bit of doubt in uh, the bowler's mind. Unsettle him as soon as possible. In T20 cricket over the years, he's been a great servant for Bangladesh. So what should have done well is correctly said to put him under pressure and not getting the new ball since Shariful and Taskin getting the new ball. And that's an advantage what those two bowlers have. But unfortunately, Fizz have to he can't get back the length. Ball has lots of cutters as much as possible. More than an attacking bowler, he's become a containing bowler. So this is a new role that uh, Fizz probably has to get adjusted to. Clearly, Shanto is happy to give the new ball to Shariful and Tuskin with their height to get that uh, the bounce that uh, the most of the batters don't like. Yeah, it's also about uh, taking the pace off the ball, average swing uh, for Bangladesh, more than Sri Lankans in select so far. Pitch number seven. Also about taking the pace of the ball. That's why he has been so successful uh, in terms of those cutters that you just mentioned. Short one surprises the batter, but he went for the shot. There is a deep square leg because the fine leg feeler is inside the circle. So he, if he wants to play that shot, he needs to connect and connect well. And that fizz through by fizz. That was quick. Right on the money, and Kusal Mendes was slightly delayed for that stroke. One bounce with the over, correctly called. Good change up by Mustafiz. Yeah, never easy for a bowler to concede a boundary of the first uh, delivery in his over. It's, it's important that he comes back strongly, and he's done that. He needs to finish off nicely here. And he does. After six, Sri Lanka, uh, 41 for one. I think crucial for uh, Sri Lanka for the man on screen, Kushal Mendes, uh, to uh, get a big one here. Finds the fielder because he's well set. Uh, the striker is uh, close to 130, but as a batter, when you do get set, you expect not only you, your team starts to expect that, yes, he's the one who's going to do the job for your team. Yeah, he'll be the key, Kusal Mendes. Possibly his game will change now since Vanindu Hasarang is at the crease. Get a single, give the strike back to Vanindu. Mid on in the circle, that's something that Vanindu will be keeping an eye on. But generally, he looks to go over extra cover or mid off. It goes down the ground. That is a cracking shot. He picks up the length very quickly. Mid on inside the circle. It just goes uh, between the Bola and the fielder. 
gets past, goes for the boundary. Right in the one he do sock, clears his front foot and smashes it down the ground. Slow ball attempted by Fitz. Pretty sure the next one will won't be in the ace half. It's possibly be a slow ball into the pitch or a quick bouncer. Clever, clever. I mean, we're just trying to guide it over that feeler at uh, just wideish gully. Yeah, typical fast bowler's reply. Smashed over the top. Bouncer next delivery. Not one for the over call by the umpire. Still in his armory. Fizz. Deep mid wicket, deep square leg. Third man, deep sweep, sweeper cover. And long off in place. He's now gone past uh, 2,000 runs in his uh, T20 career. On Indo Hasaranga with that boundary. Again, on a shorter side. And just cannot find the gap. So it's done. Not a bad delivery because it's just considered a single. As expected, Manindu Hasarang, as soon as he comes to the crease, the spinners from both the end being replaced by the fast bowlers. Surely a tactic used. Would have spoken in the team meeting. As soon as Manindu comes, he can be the difference playing the floater role. And he's dangerous when he plays that role. When his license has been given to go out of the bowling. This is good stuff by Bangladesh. Very impressive Shanto as a captain. That's a poor delivery. That is a poor delivery, and it's gone the distance down the leg side. Easy, too easy for uh, Kushal Mendes to hit it for the maximum. Yeah, that's a pie by Mustafiz. Nothing delivery. Slower delivery attempted again. Just set up. For Kushal Mendes. Bangladesh, the maximums they've been hit so far have been feeding Kushal Mendes in his favorite area. In the dugout today, Sanat Jai Surya. Again, an expensive over. Already 12 in that over. This can turn, turn, out, turn out to be a worry for Bangladesh. To see Mustafi is gone for so many. There you go. It's wide and it's four more. That's a poor delivery again by Mustafi. He's digging in short and wicketkeeper Luton Das had no chance. This is some, something that Sri Lanka needed to change gears, to change the momentum. And this over so certainly 70 runs so far, and still a ball remaining. Yeah, he's been all over the place. Mustafizur Rahman. 17 already in this over. Remember, in one of the overs, the last over that he bowled in one of the earlier two T20 internationals, it went for 24. Nicely played. Uh, the key is to hit the back of the length and hit the top of the off stump. Very full. Oh, he's picked that up. It's way up in the air. It's traveling many a mile. Such an easy looking shot that for the maximum. It's Al Mendes just leaning into it. Told you he's finding his timing. Now that will hurt Mahmudullah Riyad who dropped him in the previous over. Mustafi Zor in for his third over. Starts off with a slower one. And a lovely shot to bring up the 50 partnership between the two. They're well placed now. 180 on the cards as a minimum. Has to check. Scampers through for a quick run. Bangladesh desperately in search of a wicket. They need to break this partnership. To stop the momentum because Asuranga in particular, Kristal Mendes, looking very threatening at the moment. That has solely been pushed into that position, Bangladesh, because Hasaranga has got a promotion. Well, he's uh, cracked that away. It's found the field in the deep. Well, Mandis has been very impressive, hasn't he? Sure he has, because he's not had it all easy. With the new ball. Oh, he's trying to pull it as far away from the batter's reach as possible. Not often you see most of his Ramba under so much duress. It's been around. Like, get a hold of that, has to scamper through. 
Direct hit might have been interesting. Oh, no, that might go to hand. It does. That is the breakthrough they've been looking for. Mustafizur Rahman tempts Pasaranga to try a ramp shot. It's very, very well judged catch at the boundary. Yeah, needed a tall man. Bangladesh were lucky they had Shoriful Islam there, probably the tallest in the team. He judged it well. Flucked it because if he didn't, that was going for six now. Chanto, I mentioned he's been pushed to bring his bowlers in, his faster bowlers. And he brought in Mustafizur at this stage because he wanted a wicket. And he gets it. Asaranga, well, not the impact that he usually does give. 15 of 13, 111 for three. Well, that was not very comfortably played. A good comeback by Mustafi Zuraman. Nelson's up, 1-1-1 one, one, one for three. Starts off with the cutter, moves the front leg and clears. Clean hit from Samara Vikrama. A boundary to start the last over. A slow delivery call all wrong for Fizz. Expecting the ball to grip out. This pitch has so much grass, it's going to skid onto the bat. Sadhir Samara Vikrama was well set. Set himself up and smashed it over Medvigat for a boundary. Much slower. Still scamper through for a single. The umpire Tanvi Rahman calls once one for the over. Means that no more bounces can be allowed. Now Dasun Chana can line up. This is where it's going to be interesting to see how Fez is going to bowl at Dasun Chanaka. For the Yorkers can be a risk with Dasun. And he's going to bowl slow balls. Have that braveness or do go for Midon drops back. That's well bowled. Past the outside edge. That's a good comeback by Fizz. Slightly on the fuller length and it gripped. That's when Shana got caught by surprise. The amount of turn that that delivery had. Did grip a bit so far. Five runs of the three deliveries of the final over. Comes down the wicket. He connects it and connects it well. Wings deployed for a six. Uh, that's more like it by Dasun Shanaka. This time coming down the ground. Yet the pitch of the delivery. That's a good shot. That's the power that we all know about Dasun Shanaka. Smashed it. The is not comfortable bowling the Yorkers. The previous one of a slow ball got away with it, and this occasion, what a strike! All of a sudden, 171 now. Take it to that psychological mark of 180, which I think just more than Pasco at uh, the stadium. Not much space on offer, so he generated some power coming down the wicket. Now, square leg, deep square leg comes back inside the circle. The backward point falls back. Was indication for wider delivery. It's in the air. Falls short. Just short of the man. They're coming back for the second. Piz, for instance, just thought maybe the catch was uh, there in the offering. Jagger Ali and Mahmoud al Riyad for a moment was uh, seeing each other's faces. Thought Jagger Ali had it covered, but all in the sun. Just pulled away, and uh, that's when Shanak realized. There was a chance of coming back for the second run and ran the first one hard and came back for the second. Last ball coming up. Can Dasun finish with a six to get Bangladesh to winning score of 180? In the air, should fall safe. It does. They're coming back for the second. Throw in just a bit wide. Good flick on from uh, Riton Das. No look. Umpire SIS Shoiko straight away referred it upstairs. To the TV umpire Gazi Sohel. Well, umpire to director, we have das, an umpire you call for run out at the striker end. Can I have your best side on angle, please? Yeah. 
Keep it rolling through. Keep it rolling through. Yeah, better is well short of his ground. I have a decision for the big skin. Does Bangla Bank decision pending? Is rocket out? Was a no look flick on to get rid of Dasun Shanaka in the last delivery of the innings. Very well done. Some uh, skills on display from Liton Das brings up the smile on Bangladesh's faces. Yeah, Dasun Shanaka doing the right thing, going for the second run and sacrificing wicket. For more update, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.